Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable yourself and relax your body. Keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, mentally relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. Do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Homage to the Blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So, dear Dhamma practitioners, before we start our practice session, as usual, we'll take a few minutes for ourselves to, to understand how this meditation technique will help for us to develop our inner awareness. And at the same time, how this meditation take us to liberation. Because when it come to this practice, it has a very clear path. And recognizing it and contemplate on it is very necessary while you practice. And it call contemplating on purpose. Because Otherwise, if you don't understand very clearly how this practice will help for you to gain the liberation, and maybe you waste your time. So there are a few things always you have to contemplate and understand. So one is the purpose in a very Classical way in the Pali term, it called Sataka Sampajanya. Sampajanya clear means clear comprehension. Sataka means the purpose and goal. So when it comes to that, you have to remember this all the meditation techniques not going to take you to liberation. And each and every meditation technique may be different and has a different, different purpose. So this meditation, practicing the, the anapana sati, or this uh, contemplating inhalation, exhalation, has a formula itself to take you to the goal or the fulfilled your purpose. You have to remember this, all the arts, not for sale. So like that, all the meditation technique not going to take you to liberation. So when it comes to this one, in the beginning, the, the regarding the goal or the purpose, there are a few things that you have to remember. So this is for the pure purification of being itself, your whole life and other thing is overcoming sorrow and lamentation not to increase the sorrow and the lamentation not to 
to misguide your life. Another thing is overcome grief and despair. The deep sorrow and the hopelessness. And the Another purpose is this heading towards the, the liberation or the Nibbana. Another thing is not come closer to the Nibbana. That is very important. And it is help you to attain to the Nibbana. So just imagine you can come closer to the temple, but if you are not in, getting to the temple, you can't tell you went to the temple. You can go closer. The same road it take, go, go closer to it. But attaining to it, getting to it, is a different task. So then, through this practicing meditation, you fulfill that all the the reasons, purify yourself and overcome sorrow and lamentation and also overcoming deep sorrow or the grief or the, the hopelessness. And uh, it clearly take, it's not going to take you to deeper and level, it take you clearly to the the Nibbana and not allow, not closer to it, it allow you to attaining to the Nibbana. And the other one is, then while you practice, you have to look into Sapaya Sampajanya. Sapaya Sampajanya means the suitability for the goal. Because that when you practice meditation, you have to look into see this and see, is it possible to gain the Nibbana? Is it, is it purify myself? Is it take me out of the sorrow and lamentation? So you have to look into that. Otherwise, that how are you going to recognize it? Because if you start to practice meditation day by day, day by day, if, you, if your sorrow or the lamentation become more and more and more, and uh, if your grief and uh, despair become more stronger, stronger, that kind of meditation you should not practice. So then that Sapaya Sampajanya means that shootability. Is this, is this can practicing meditation is capable to, to take you. And uh, other one is the, the Gochara Sampajanya, the domain or the field. So when it come to that, we, we don't go with different, different techniques. It's always related to the four foundation and mindfulness and the purification. So that is our field. Not to kind of like uh, levitate, not to kind of like, uh, you know, visualize, not to kind of like uh, uh, read others' mind, kind of like uh, develop any kind of psychic powers. No. So we, we develop, for mindfulness, that is the main reason, main purpose, and to purify ourselves. So, and the asamoha sampajanya, and it not to the not to get into delusion, and do de develop the non-delusion. So, and when it come to that, the inner clarity to become honest to yourself and directly, sincerely, very clearly 
you see this and you into path and you practice that you gain the the day by day day by day you gain the uh, result and for and this is for your own inner personal development not for something else you don't go here and there so you start to practice meditation and out of that meditation you uplift your awareness you gain your inner clarity you develop your strength and you gain your purification so in that way your path become more and more perfect and every day you gain the the result so otherwise that uh, kind of like uh, they are saying you know the old man always carry the old bag you know so <laughs> sometimes people's lives you know the same thing repeat again and again and again there is no development you no know, you see every day the same thing so meditation you should not develop that kind of environment in you it should bring the the ability for yourself to become very clear inside and other thing is when it come to spiritual path this because you you open your heart you know you open your mind you open your life to something and the something means it to your own mind so in that way your own thoughts can misbehave misguide you know as you know that uh, that your your mind your thoughts can be a good boss and at the same time the the good servant and at the same time bad bad boss you know so then you have to be very careful how you guide this so when it come to meditation then be very clear with yourself and not to develop the greed hatred or the delusion but to increase the loving kindness generosity compassion with the wisdom so that way day by day day by day your practice going to become more better and that is why this your personal that the purification develop another thing is this especially that deeply that overcoming of sorrow and lamentation this those are kind of like roots that we hold it to this world so is uh, if you are not become very clear with the path and sometimes you know when it come to meditation and we may develop a some kind of attachment to the methods so then that way you not going to gain the the benefit out of it because the sorrow and lamentation mostly come out of the deep attachment and uh, and not only that and sometimes that the uh, our loneliness helplessness can bring a deeper unsatisfaction to us so through the practice meditation then you have to be very clear and moment by moment moment by moment releasing your thoughts you develop the environment to being alone go this journey yourself with in your with your own effort you not you not depend from something or look for outside colors or the pictures or uh, any methods or the patterns you don't go with that you become very sustainable and the other thing is our limit limits when it come to five aggregates that is the world mean so we go with that we our our main purpose is understanding and recognizing the very behavior the very becoming the very nature of five aggregates and other thing is we our very purpose is releasing get out of this five hindrances so once you have get out of five hindrances and become very clear with five aggregates 
And what happened? You recognize the path. So then there's no any big puzzle regarding this outside world or the science or the technology. This is, this is a method that you work with you to recognize you. So then your own inner purification come out of your own practice related to your five aggregates. Not, to, not outside things. So once you have that, then you will see you heading towards the, the right path. Another thing is that because if you don't have that in a wisdom itself, maybe you keep practice, practice, practice till you die, you know, then it, it's you know, maybe when you come back, when you become, you know, when you, your next life, maybe you keep practice. Every time you keep practice. And but as a human being, today you have a great opportunity to understand this and out of your practice and gain the result. And maybe you can think, oh, I'll do, uh, oh, I, I know how to do it. I will finish it tomorrow. No. Have you seen sometimes, you know, this uh, like uh, athletics when they run, maybe long run, you know, maybe they know they win, you know, they came first and they win. Now they're cheering and waving hands to the crowd, you know, and they enjoy themselves. They are winning. And when what happened? Suddenly somebody else, <laughs> you know, crossed the line, you know. So that is something. And sometimes we see, oh, I know how to practice. I know the technique and, you know, oh, I can do it myself now. And we think like that. And then we interfere with the uh, uh, other things. And by the time we lose our time, and then you lose the opportunity. So then remember yourself. Practicing meditation doesn't mean you, every day you have to practice. You have to gain result. So then always remember and be in the field. And no need to go out of it. It's like the, the cow go to the grass. Not somewhere else. Don't go to mountain to look for the landscape. Cow go to the grass. So like that yourself. You know, always look that the, your field. So don't go beyond that. Maybe in our life we have a lot of opportunities. But if you go with that, then what will happen? Your, your whole life may be going to go with it. So then be in that field. So, so that way that you, you become so comfortable and at the same time you're mastering your practice day by day, day by day. And when it come to that, by the time you are in the right path, so that itself brings the clarity to yourself, oh, this work. So whatever you practice, then you know, oh, this work. So your practice brings the clarity to yourself. Don't think that by reading a book, by listening to somebody, you gain the clarity. You understand something. But in the meditation, the clarity means, non-delusion means, out of your own practice, Developing your analytical, logical mind, you gain the, the wisdom. Within your own effort, within your own strength, you earn it. You earn the wisdom. So that is an important thing. So then remember, in every day when you practice, it is your responsibility to, to understand these things and work a little bit with your practice and keep that clarity. So with that, let's get into practice a little bit now. So your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. So bring your attention to your body and a scan head to toes three times yourself and say, Sopatveva, or may I be 
well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me, may all the success come to me. Also think for a moment, this is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalations and exhalations. So in the beginning, deeply and gently breathe in, breathe out three times and find the sensation, please. And allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself. When it happens through the sensation, recognize it, do nothing extra.
Bring attention to your body, please, and observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars, reminding yourself like this. With clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away. already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. to your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward, and upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, Spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself may all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
Sri Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. So first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to the supreme bliss of Nibbana. May all your guardian angels and deities will receive these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata cha ami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta numodantu sabba sampati siddhya imaya dhamma nu dhamma pati patiya buddham pujemi dhammam pujemi sangham pujemi adhaya imaya pati patiya jati jara vyadi maranam ha pari bunjisami idam me punya kammang asavakaya vahang hotu sabbadukkha pamunchutu blessing